Hello Scorpio and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks, which is from the 1st to the 15th of November 2021. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time, to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle. And this is a compendium of witches oracle that I'm using today to draw a couple of cards from just to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom does the mysterious oracle have for Scorpio for the 1st to the 15th of November 2021. What messages are here for Scorpio for the next two weeks? What does Scorpio need to know at this time? Let's just fan the deck out and we'll pick a couple. And let's see what you get. The preserver. Conserving things that are of value to you. Things that um, are important. Needing some sort of protection. Almost locking away. But holding on to things that are important to you. And you have memory, which is interesting. Yeah, This is about um, how our memories shape us. And it's sort of working through through them and deciding what what memories are beneficial to you what you want to keep and what you want to let go discard because as you can see the memory here these depict painful memories struggling um, you know it's difficult times um, anxiety pain but um, it's sort of It calls you to use those past experiences to gain wisdom and insight into you and, and those around you. And then you've got preserving um, what is important, what is of value to you. Perhaps it also sort of asks, are you holding on to something that is that can cause you pain? Let's just see, though, where the rest of the reading takes us. So... Let's see what's on the cards for Scorpio for the 1st to the 15th of December 2021. What messages are here for Scorpio for the next two weeks? What does Scorpio need to know at this time? And this is the Llewellyn Tarot that I'm using today. And I'll put down a five card spread for you, Scorpio. With the first card depicting you in your current situation, where you are now. And the second card showing what's brought you to where you are, what influences you. With the third card highlighting any challenges you may be facing at this time. And the fourth card, offering you some guidance from divine energies as you move towards the fifth card, which may reveal your possible outcome to this time period. So let's see what you get. Four of Swords, Recuperation, Recovery, and Eight of Swords, a sense of being trapped. A lot of dilemma here. But you have the Knight of Pentacles there. This is your challenge, your aspiration. And then you have the Page of Wands being your guidance card. And you move towards the Empress. That's beautiful. So you're coming out of a struggle to better times. 
And you have the star at the bottom of the deck. This denotes renewed hope and faith, finding a new dream to move towards and um, having an abundance about you. You, you know, if, if you look here, there's, there's that pool of water. Um, usually the star pours water into that and water out onto the land, which sort of nurtures the rest of the land and continues to grow and, and sort of goes back into the pool and sort of it's just a cycle of abundance so there's a new dawn arising here and a new, renewed hope and faith a new some a new dream to to move towards a new star to hitch your wagon to it's where you are now you know there's been a lot of strife a sense of being hemmed down of being trapped in some sort of situation um with with the the eight of swords that that sense of entrapment is actually uh, your what you perceive is it's a matter of perception and um if the blindfold is removed the person here would see that the swords are not totally surrounding her there's a way through a way through to better times and those that ties that bind her down are not as strong as perceived they can easily be loosened or broken. So from this struggle, perhaps you've already seen a way out. But nevertheless, this shows you in a, a, a place now of recuperating, of resting, putting aside this, this mental anguish and struggle and stepping back from it and gaining that new perspective. From that period of rest and recuperation, you see things in a different way and you may well be finding your way out of it. However, your challenge is to get things off the ground to get going. The Knight of Pentacles, this is someone, depicts someone who's back on the horse. You know, to me in this reading, it's sort of saying your challenge is to get back on the horse, to find that light, to move towards that renewed hope and faith, that little glimmer of light and let it shine out brightly here as it does in this card. The Knight of Pentacles shows that what you need now is to put your focus into something practical, something that requires diligence, hard work, and it, it may call you to lay down firm foundations. However, if you're willing to do that, it, it, this can bring about a, you know, a, a, an abundance and prosperity, a sense of value returning into your life. So it's to, you know, your challenge is to move forward slowly. The, the pentacles energy is a slow energy and the knight of all the knights, he's the ploddiest of them all. He moves slowly, deliberately, carefully, but with stoic determination towards what he needs to accomplish. He's very focused on that pentacle. So it's a, it's a lovely challenge, actually. It's almost like an aspiration to, to get things off the ground, to get back on the horse and be prepared to take time and effort to move towards accomplishing a dream. And your guidance here even is the page of ones, another card with a dawn, a new horizon there, um, a new day dawning on the horizon. So this is... Um, telling you that you know be willing to learn to um to to learn as you go to take things in in a scholarly capacity initially this is you've you've got an opportunity here with the star card something bringing in a new hope and promise towards um something better something that can bring growth and fruition to your life very much like that what's the knight of pentacles speaks of and what the empress speaks of the empress is all about having that abundance achieving that growth attaining that manifestation of um growth abundance comfort and continued um harvest around you so this is lovely lovely energy so where are you moving from a period of difficulty and this may be linked to too much looking back holding on to memories that are no longer serving you memories that are keeping you trapped it's time to set them aside to put them to rest 
and focus on this wonderful new potential that the star depicts. A new hope, a new dream. Get yourself back on track. So that's done slowly at first and with laying down firm foundations and being prepared to learn as you go and trying, you know, to trying to reignite that, that zest for life, that energy, that spark. Because, you know, you're moving towards abundance. You're moving towards manifesting your dreams, manifesting a, a, a bountiful harvest about you through your own hard work and dedication. The Empress is a wonderful card to get at the end of the spread. It sort of denotes completing a, 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 something in a very fruitious way. It's manifestation, fruition, abundance, growth and... Um, nurturing around you so it's wonderful wonderful energies coming out of the depths of some angst and pain that you can lay aside step back from and refocus your attention your energies on something that is more inspiring and um can bring growth and abundance in the end. So there you have it, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. Have a good two weeks and God bless you till we meet again.